In today's video you will learn the risks and side effects of using statin drugs. This video is for educational purposes only and does not replace a medical professional's advice. What are statins? Statins are a class of prescription drugs that help to lower cholesterol. They block the enzyme that the body uses to make cholesterol in the liver. The liver, along with other cells in the body, makes about 75% of the body's blood cholesterol. By blocking this enzyme, the amount of LDL cholesterol your liver makes is significantly lowered and the amount of high-density lipoprotein, HDL, the good cholesterol, is increased. What are statins used for? Statins can help to regulate cholesterol levels and may help address other health issues too, although they're not without risk. If you have too much cholesterol in your system, you can be at greater risk of heart disease and other vascular diseases. Cholesterol can cause a buildup of plaque in the artery walls, which affects blood flow and can raise your risk of a heart attack. This is where statins come in. Various types of statins are available. They all work similarly and offer the same level of success, but one might work better for you than another. Types of statins Atorvastatin, Lipita, and Torvast. Simvastatin, Zocca, and Lipex. Lovastatin, Mevacor, Altocor, and Altoprev. Pitavastatin, Livalo, and Piteva. Rosovastatin, Cresta. Fluvastatin, Lescol. Pravastatin, Pravacol, Lipostat, and Selectine. A doctor or other healthcare professional will help determine which statin, or combination of medication, is the best fit for your particular condition. The benefits of statins. Most statins successfully help lower LDL, or bad, cholesterol. Lowering your cholesterol levels with statins helps decrease your risk of stroke, heart attack, and other vessel-related diseases. Statins offer other benefits besides lowering your cholesterol. For example, they help stabilize the blood vessel lining, which benefits the whole body. This also makes plaque less likely to rupture in the heart, lowering the risk of a heart attack. Statins help prevent cholesterol from forming in the liver. They may also help lower triglycerides and increase HDL levels. Statins also help to relax the blood vessels, which leads to a decrease in blood pressure. Statin side effects. The most common side effects of statins include nausea, vomiting, and aches and pains in the muscles and joints. You may also have constipation, gas, or diarrhea. Most people are able to take statins without experiencing side effects, and the most common side effects of statins are mild. As your body adjusts to the medication, the side effects often go away. Some more serious side effects of statins. Type 2 diabetes or higher blood sugar. Confusion and memory loss. Liver damage. Muscle damage. Kidney damage. Who's more likely to have side effects from statins? Not everyone who takes a statin has side effects. According to a 2018 study, you're more likely to experience side effects if you were assigned female at birth, are 65 years old or older, have type 1 or 2 diabetes, take multiple medications to lower your cholesterol, have a smaller body frame, have liver or kidney disease, consume too much alcohol, if you're experiencing side effects, a doctor or other healthcare professional may want you to try another statin, change your dosage, or try a different medication. Mixing statins with grapefruit suppresses an important enzyme that normally helps the body process the medication. This enzyme balances out how much of it goes to the bloodstream. The compounds in grapefruit hinder the enzyme and create higher amounts of the drug in the bloodstream. There's also the possibility for negative reactions when mixing statins with grapefruit. Are statins right for you? In November 2018, the American Heart Association and the American College of Cardiology released new guidelines that identified groups who would benefit the most from statins. These groups are at high risk of having a stroke or heart attack. People who have cardiovascular disease. People with elevated LDL levels. People with type 2 diabetes who are between 40 and 75 years old. People who have a higher 10-year risk of heart attack. Taking statins is often, but not always a lifelong commitment. Even if your cholesterol levels decrease, you may still need to take the medication. 
Otherwise, your levels will likely go back up once you're off the medication. However, if you change your lifestyle significantly, you may be able to go off the medication. This might include losing a significant amount of weight or radically changing your diet. Regardless, never stop taking your medication without first speaking with a doctor or other healthcare professional. Each person is unique, and it's important to remember that there's no one-size-fits-all solution. Statins are a very good option for many people with high cholesterol. For others, lifestyle changes, in some cases, drastic changes may work wonders. It's important that you speak with a doctor or other healthcare professional to see what is best for you. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and hit the bell for us, so you'll get notifications for our future uploads. All the best, from the 5-Minute Health Tips team.